<laughs> I think I'm just gonna stick to this and throw out my whole rating system. This ice is like so good. <coughs> that is nasty. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rachel. If you are new here, welcome. Good to have you here. I am so excited for this video because I finally figured out how to properly rank all the coffee places I've been to so far in Los Angeles. If you missed my last video, please go watch that first because I tried like nine different places in that video and it's a really good base for this video. If you can't tell, I love coffee and I've realized that I take it pretty seriously. In this video, I try five new places. You kind of see at the end the culmination of all of the rankings, so that's super exciting. But first things first, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so, because it truly means a lot to me. I am trying to grow this channel, and I'm so excited to have you here. Without further ado, please enjoy my coffee video part two. Good morning. Um, I don't think I washed my face this morning, so whoops. I just realized this coffee place I wanted to try for this next group of coffee places, it's actually walkable from where I live, so, um, well, I don't want to tell you where I live. Nobody's going to stalk. You never know. Anyway, it's called the Coffee Commissary. So I'm going to go try that. I will catch you later. Um, okay. I don't, I don't think I like this. The menu was like nothing. I did not feel welcome there. They were like blasting music, not friendly or approachable. There were flies buzzing around. It was dark. It just was not a vibe. Experience is experience. It can't all be butterflies and sunshine all the time. Why am I walking through the back of a 7-Eleven? <laughs> I almost just stopped because I'm like, oh, I, I could fill my tank up. I'm not driving a car right now. I'm walking. This is an iced Americano with vanilla and a little bit of oat milk. Let, let, let me record more when I get inside. Now that I'm back, I will tell you what I think of this. I just poured it into my Starbucks thing. So it's kind of watery. I added a little bit of stevia to make it a little sweeter. I don't know. I just don't really like the taste of this. Also, I passed by a dead possum while I was walking there. I didn't even know we had possum here. And then on the way back, all these pigeons just flew up to the to the cable. And I, I just was like taken back because I didn't realize they were all sitting by the side of the 7-Eleven, like pecking on pieces of bread. That scared me. It was a scary adventure this morning. Ugh. First of all, I need to grab coffee. We need to go. Where should I go get coffee? I don't even know. Should I just stick with stick with the stuff you know? That's like the Starbucks. What you know? It feels like there's like a Starbucks angel sitting on my shoulder. Let me turn you off because I need to go get coffee. I just drove to this random nearby place called 310 Coffee. I just parked in front of somebody's house. It says no parking 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Wednesday street cleaning. So I think I'm fine. I don't see another sign. So let's just go get some coffee. Sure. Okay. It was pretty cool in there. I liked the vibes. We're gonna do a little taste test. So I got this iced latte with oat milk and um, hazelnut syrup. Wait, I love this ice. <gasps> Guys, I think this is my second favorite ice place. Is this really oat milk? I don't think this is oat milk. And it tastes like hazelnutty, but not super hazelnutty. What did he say when he called it out? Did he say oat milk latte or did he say iced hazelnut latte? I don't know because usually I taste oat milk, but I don't. We will um chat about it later, I'm sure. Hi guys, I am so excited. I am going to get my friend Jess and we are going to go to this coffee place that it sounds like she has been, but I have not. It's called La La Land kind cafe i think that's what it's called and yes i did look at their instagram slash website and i saw that their colors were like yellow and white so i wore yellow and right kind of white ah right ah all right well i'm gonna go get her and shh, gps i'll catch up with you later bye <laughs> to i didn't tell you what drink i got or how it was or anything so i need to um I just looked at the menu and remembered that I ordered the perfect latte. It is basically just, I got an iced latte and it says it came with bell milk. I don't know what bell milk is, but I got it with oat milk and it says secret sauce. And we asked her what the secret sauce was and she did, she couldn't really tell us. She was like, oh, it's kind of like hazelnut. I don't think it tasted like hazelnut at all. I'm trying to remember how it tasted, but I was distracted because I was with my friend. Ugh. I'm always distracted when I'm with my friends because I'm paying attention to them, which is good. We want that, right? I can't really accurately say 
what exactly it tasted like and stuff because I'm not in the moment anymore. But basically it was pretty good, but it wasn't like the best thing I've ever tasted. The vibe there, loved. You'll see how I rank it on my wall later, but I just wanted to share with you what I got. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today, this morning, I am going like 20 to 30 minutes east to some area of LA. The point is I'm going out east to go check out this coffee place. It looks super cool. I like the theme. It used to be a Texaco gas station. So it's like full service. It's like coffee. They're serving coffee instead of gas. So let's get going. I think it's also important to mention that I did stay up uh, past midnight. <laughs> My bedtime is like 9 30, 10 p.m. I found out you can actually play The Sims 4 on Mac. So I went crazy. And so that's the state of my tiredness today. Okay, am I just an idiot? No, no. I got on I 10 West for the hundredth time instead of East. BRB listening to Christmas music. I also just took the wrong exit. So. <laughs> may not even get to this coffee place after all. Now that I am stopped, I could just tell that guy was so unhappy to be there. He was so nice. The guy who took my order came up to my window, but I could just tell he was so miserable. I realized I'm in Koreatown. There's trash everywhere, but that is just my experience driving to and from this coffee place on this particular road. I don't know, Western Ave. The coffee place was very efficient, good job, but like I had looked at the menu beforehand and I was like, oh yes, they have Chocachino. Not that big of a deal because I always get something different. I do not really care. And I was like, oh, um, you know, can I have a Chagachino? And he was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. We're actually out of Chaga. And I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. And he's like, yes, it is. And I was like, what? You're the one making a big deal now. Like, I really didn't care that much. <laughs> like, your energy, come on. We need to be more positive. So that was kind of weird. And the way that you like pull up to the gas station area and then they pull you to the it's just weird and then they have to come out and bring you your coffee which is really nice of them it looked cuter online sadly unfortunately than it did in person also it's weird that this was given to me with a straw already unwrapped in it but i guess it's like efficiency come on you need it quick this is just a cold brew with oat milk and some cinnamon in it so i'm going to try it right now i guess i guess <coughs> ew he told me to get the cold brew because it's really caffeinated that is nasty! Ew! Unfortunately, I can't even make myself pretend that this coffee tastes good. It is that bad. It is the most watery, nasty tasting soup I've ever... It, no. To even call it soup is an insult to soup. Straight up zero immediately. Immediately no. <laughs> I really thought this was gonna be a good place. It looked so good. It had 4.5 stars. I don't know why he'd recommend me the cold brew if it tastes this atrocious. I guess I have to go somewhere else today, which I was not planning on doing. Catch you later. Just found this nail polish that's scented like coffee. What's happened is I've, s okay, what? <laughs> I am trying to go to this place, Village Well Books and Coffee, I think. This is my fourth time lapping this super domestic coffee place. I actually did see a spot right out front of it, but I'm not trying to go there and I didn't know how far away Villa, far away. So now somebody else took that spot, which is great because there's no spots in front of Village Well. So this is the same road. This is my fourth time. If you watched my other video, this is my fourth time going down this road. Oh wait, this is a post off. Oh, oh, wait, <laughs> I'm like fully, stop it. It's 30 minute parking in front of the post office. This works. Yeah. Wait, wait, is this the post office or the police department? That says police. De There's a sign that says, oh, maybe the police department is behind here. <gasps> I'm just going to go grab coffee. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Oh my god, this scared the out of me. I'm gonna look at some books. Um, my car isn't towed, so that's always a plus. Oh, excuse me, gross iced coffee. <laughs> this is the book I ended up getting. I realized my car needs a car wash, so I'm gonna go do that. Oh, wait, I need- this is about the coffee, I forgot. Okay, this is a pumpkin spice latte iced with oat milk. She suggested it. A little subtle. I think I'm used to having, like, pumpkin foam, so I'm used to, like, very sweet things. But this is actually pretty good. I'll update you later. Bye! Guys, they gave me a bookmark! That's so cute. If this isn't my brand, 
I don't know what is. I have decided that I'm going to, hold up. Why do I always try to record before I'm like ready to record? I wanna make a leaderboard for all of the coffee places cause I am a nerd. I am going to kind of just like put them on my wall. <laughs> further review review oh my god wake up upon further review it has come to my attention that the ratings that i have decided on um do not reflect how i truly actually feel about these places and the order that i would put them in in order of would go again every day to would never visit again so um there's a total of 17 points apparently that you can get i think flavor um, needs to be weighed a little more heavily somehow. I kind of want to just put these in the order that I want to put them in, you know? Um, and then, yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna do that. And then I'll just show you my... Ah! Starbucks fell! First, I have blue bottle in my hand. And we're going to put that up here. Pretty darn good. Starbucks, we are also going to put right there. Phil's, we're gonna put here coffee bean we're gonna put like ah gosh darn it this is so hard i'd probably go here next alfred okay um we're gonna put that up here full service never again never ever again village well this is going to go up because it's a bookstore you can't beat that I'm, that's gonna go up here this is fun i'm so glad i decided to randomly do this good boy bob probably not Probably not gonna go there again. Never again, absolutely not. Even worse vibes than there, but their coffee tastes a little better. La La Land, super cute. I would definitely go there again. Um, That's probably gonna be up here, probably. Duncan, I don't like the Duncan here, I'm sorry. 310 coffee, we are going to put you probably here. Lil Ripper, probably not gonna gonna I'm gonna 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 probably not gonna go there again because it's far away. I'm gonna put that in here There's like a clear separation there work coffee. Well, that kind of just goes in the middle. Wow That was easy. Can we zoom in on that? And there you have it folks. I Actually love this. This is super cute I'm just doing this on front-facing camera because I cannot stand not being able to see this is what happens when you record everything on your phone these are the ratings that i had on paper at the top with 14 points are fills and starbs on my instinctive wall my instinctive coffee wall fourth and sixth place actually after that at 13 points i have 310 coffee and village well books and coffee that's my number three so that's actually perfect and then 310 coffee is seventh place after that we have la la land kind cafe at 12 points which is ranked tied for sixth with Phil's. And then after that, I would have ranked Blue Bottle. Blue Bottle is actually much higher because I really loved the flavor of their espresso. So delicious. As I said in my first video, I really think it's the gosh darn gluten-free blueberry muffin that Alfred has. It really puts you over the top. After Blue Bottle, I would have ranked Alfred and the coffee that I get at work tied that makes no sense Alfred is all the way up here number one and work coffee is like number eight Okay, after that I would have ranked coffee bean and tea leaf and good boy Bob But coffee bean and their ice is so much better. I'm not gonna go back there Anytime soon. This is my probably never again pile. Someone told me I was harsh in my last video and Yeah, I was I take it very seriously, clearly, for some reason. Somebody help. This is a cry for help if I've ever seen one. After that, full service coffee with an eight. Yeah, honestly, that was the grossest. It, you can't even excuse it. Cold brew should not taste like that. Not on my planet. Next up, I have commissary. Is it, I don't know what the full title is, nor do I care. Tied with Lil Ripper Coffee. That's pretty spot on. That's it so far. So yeah, I've ranked all of them by my scoring system and then also instinctively. And I think that has proven to work out better as we have seen here. I feel like a weather woman. If you look to your north, you will see Alfred moving at an alarming rate. And these this gust down, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And we'll probably do a third series, maybe a fourth series. 
until I get freaking tired of coffee, which probably won't happen. Some of these places are so bad, it makes me never wanna drink coffee again. Just kidding, that's not true. Okay, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed that so, so much, as much as I did, because I had so much fun doing that. I have decided that I'm going to do vlog ween which I'm sure somebody has done, but basically there's this thing called Vlogmas. If you are familiar with YouTube, basically you vlog every day of December up until Christmas. I decided that I want to do it for the month of October leading up to Halloween. So I'm going to vlog and post a video every single day this month. Make sure you stay tuned for all of that because that is definitely happening. Plus my best friend is getting married this month, so there's a wedding and there's just... There's a lot going on this month. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Leave any comments down below for me. Tell me what your favorite coffee places are. This won't be the end for coffee videos, that's for sure. I'm hilarious. Thank you, good night.